Hello and welcome back to another Strong Collectors. What do I, what do I even say? Yeah, reaction or commentary? Ac- commentary, explanation, Waxing something. Waxing philosophical, perhaps. <laughs> Just another Strong Collectors podcast, really. Um, so, I think this past week, I think it has been that a few news outlets have been talking about kid alts, and Jordan, I would say us and most of our listeners fall into that category of. Essentially, it's just like people who like to collect action figures, toys, yeah. Legos, even um, yeah. things like that have been dubbed the kidult. Um, I think it was a consumer report said one fourth of toy sales are yes. attributed to adult collectors, right. which we've kind of talked about before, even the notion of like going into Target or Walmart and like you know, seeing who is shopping for toys and like, Mm -hmm. you know, we've talked about how many kids still play with toys. I guess three fourths of toy purchases are still going for kids. So there must still be kids playing toys. Maybe we just, I don't know, assume that everyone's on their iPads because we're, yeah. And then it's definitely easy to like, (laughs) especially for us. And I mean, I'm guessing most of our listeners are in like the Facebook groups and things like that where, it's kind of that echo chamber of like only adults are collecting, looking for the new right. Spider-Man or whatever it is. But it's like, I'm sure there are, I mean, obviously only one fourth of toy sales are adults and that adult is from 12 and up. So all yeah, teenagers that, are included in that. So that's, that's yeah. a little bit skewed. I think, um, I don't remember when we stopped getting Marvel legends. I think it was probably around maybe middle school. Yeah. That's what I was thinking too. was like maybe sixth or seventh grade. Which, like, I, I think about that now, I'm like, oh, does 7th graders really still play with action figures? But I think we were kind of more in that, like, collecting. Because that was right when the Build-A-Figures right. started coming out, so it was like... Well, I, I vividly remember, I think I remember this, is getting my mom to get you uh, at Walmart the um, the armored Thor from the Blob Wave. Because you really wanted it. And my mom was like, is this for you? And I was like, no, Dakota needs it to build Blob. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So and that, that was... would have been... What was it, 2007? Yeah, I'll look it up as you continue it commentating. Was seven. So, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So, 11, 12, that's probably 6th grade, I'd say. Yeah. So, yeah, I think we still were nostalgic for the Toy Biz days, but it was still cool to see, mm-hmm. you know. But then I remember for a couple of years, we would just go to the toy aisle, and I think it was when they were mm-hmm. doing the three and three quarter stuff, and it was like, right. man. I would not be happy with these as a kid. So no. I'm glad to see the six inch scale has come back and mm-hmm. that presumably kids are playing with them, you know, yeah. but yeah, that was 2007, but yeah, that was, I do remember us like continuing to talk about that, like into high school where it's like, we would just walk down the toy aisle and be like, Oh mm-hmm. man, these, these poor kids now don't, don't have the six inch Marvel legends that we used to have back Got in the day. A and comic then... and a base and the yeah. works. So, so, yeah, yeah it, it, it's been interesting because we've seen kind of some different commentary from both people in the groups and otherwise reacting to that mm-hmm. bit of news. So, I think we and I don't think it would just yeah, be I was gonna say, I don't, to, it's, it's not necessarily something, <laughs> anything new for like the collector out there of like, you're kind of like as a collector like this is like my spare bedroom so anybody that comes over to our apartment is going to see my giant collection of action figures and probably same for most other collectors it's like it's going to be yeah. on display somehow because it's not like you want to just like if you enjoy this hobby it's not like you're just going to like hide it all and nobody's ever going to see it like you want it displayed and shown and then eventually i mean if you're anything like me you're going to be like oh man my in-laws are coming over what are my wife's parents going to think about my toy collecting and yeah. buying and like like yeah it was like comic books are a little bit more like yeah it's like in a box in a closet like yeah oh this guy reads comics that's that's a little bit more normal i think or at least yeah seems more normal and it's easier it's kind of like one of those things where it's like you're not gonna really have all your comic books out on the shelves maybe yeah. you have like a bookshelf but it's not like action figures where i've got this whole display with different things and yeah it's definitely like a toy versus a book. Right. And I think 
we've seen, and obviously, like you just said, we've dealt with that ourselves, but I've also read comments from people in the groups sort of taking that perspective of, I enjoy this hobby, and maybe it's hard for my girlfriend to understand, or it's hard for my fr- or my co-workers know I collect toys, or mm-hmm. I'm afraid to tell people I collect toys, just things like that, because... I do feel like in some ways, both from this news breaking and seeing like some commentary on people being like, adults shouldn't play with toys, or you know, like adults shouldn't right. collect toys, or adults shouldn't get any enjoyment mm-hmm. out of a toy, it's just for kids. And I just think if you're not like connecting with other, like it's one thing to, to have like the collector community. But mm-hmm. I think it's cool that you and I are friends and we both collect toys and it's like, yeah, this is cool. Like we enjoy it. It's fun. Right. You know, um, but I do think there is a degree that you could feel kind of like if you listen to the wrong people, you could feel sort of, mm-hmm. I don't know if it'd be like a shame, but like some weird Probably. <laughs> idea yeah. of maybe I shouldn't be spending my time and money right. on these things. And that's kind of like what one of the reporters was kind of definitely trying to get across is like, this is the downfall of society is adults. And I think the quote was these emotionally stunted, intellectually shallow, overgrown (laughs) adolescents. That's like, I think talking to most collectors, like, yeah, sure. There's some weirdos, but there's weirdos in every walk of life. Yeah. Yeah. But I would say like most people you talk to are just normal people who have, an interest in action figures or Legos or whatever it is. And like, that's kind of like we've talked about too, is it's not like, and that's okay if you do, but like, you're not like necessarily sitting on the ground like you were as we were as kids where it's like, Oh, the X-Men are going to go fight the villains. And like, you have like, right. you're playing out a scene in action where it's like, I more enjoy like the posing and the like pop and swap of the mythic legions like setting up teams. stuff. Yeah. It's a little bit more, I see it more as like I'm buying I mean, I'm definitely not like oh I'm buying this art piece it's like I know I'm buying an action figure but I like the display right. and it's kind of like we're setting up art behind us here in our shelves and our scenes mm-hmm. um so that's I don't know I just was yeah I don't think that there's anything wrong with that but it also goes to like it definitely depends on what you're collecting as mm-hmm. to what like society is going to see as like oh, you collect action figures or Barbies? Like, you're a weirdo yeah. versus like, oh, you collect AR-15s and trucks? <laughs> it's like, that's very normal. Well, uh, yeah, I think it brings into a bigger question of, like, if you think about it, all collecting of almost anything outside of the collector community, it seems pointless, right? I mean, if right. you collect... Stamps or coins. Or... Stamps or coins or cars or mm-hmm. fishing poles. You know, it's like who is it really hurting that you collect something Mm -hmm. and why is one kind of collection seen as like, Oh, that's mature. That's adulty versus, Oh, you shouldn't because clearly if you look at these action figures, like what is the threshold for saying, Oh, a kid. Cause like, even with my nephew, some legends, I'm like, he's like, would he lose the pieces or appreciate, you know what I'm saying? Like (laughs) there's that feeling of, this is geared towards mm-hmm. I, I don't think the toy like Hasbro they wouldn't have a stream if they didn't no. think adults were the ones watching it right I mean for it's sure. not like come on guys these are for kids back off like mm-hmm. you shouldn't be buying these up <laughs> they know yeah. they know they're talking to a collector adult community or like a, ne- a line like NECA or Mafex of course mm-hmm. kids aren't going out and dropping money on those right I don't think. I, don't I mean, know. maybe maybe Ninja as, Turtles, a, as, but, as a kid, yeah. I might have wanted some necks actually. So scratch that. But just your mom wouldn't allow it. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I, I'm curious when NECA took off because I knew that term when we got back into collecting, but I wasn't super familiar with seeing those. Do you think they mm. always had like a collector section at Walmart, or was that when did I that? I think come that's got to be newer. I don't. I because I never remember sure. seeing those when I was a kid. It'd always be the, the mm-hmm. toy aisle. Um, Tell us in the comments, when did NECA become mainstream yes. Walmart 
dedicated aisles to it. Yeah. So, I don't know. I, I just dealt with that, too, even doing the action figure podcast. You know, you tell someone you have a podcast, mm-hmm. and then it's like, well, it's about action figures. And people, like, some people are cool. I'm like, that's awesome for the most part. Mm-hmm. Maybe you get people that are like, so you talk about toys? And it's like, yeah, right. but, you know, it's fun. They're cool. Right. Um, But I don't know. I, I just felt like it would be interesting at least for our listeners to kind of be responding to what your experience has been with that, Mm -hmm. that aspect, I guess, of like a societal, is there a societal stigma or reaction Mm -hmm. to, Oh, you're an adult and you collect toys. You must be immature and ways to kind of combat that and ways Mm -hmm. to not feel like, Oh, maybe I'm, I need to, like, I would feel really sad if that report came out and then, like, people were shamed into stopping right. collecting toys because it's like, these are for children, put them away. Yeah. Like, that would bum me out. Exactly. Especially yeah. if I had people in my circles telling me that, which, luckily, I really don't. <laughs> yeah, that's good. And it, it definitely takes, like, that, um, like, a strong sense of self-worth where it's, like, like my opinion of myself and my hobbies don't necessarily like somebody else isn't going to dictate like how valuable I or my hobby is where it's like, like, yeah, you're probably going to have the like douchebag. That's like, Oh, you nerd. It's like, yeah, "Yeah." well, it's just kind of like, you just like let that roll off your back or are you going to let that like determine like how you decide to have your fun in life? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I think I dealt with that even as a kid. I think in that sixth grade area where I was sort of Mm -hmm. still into my toys, but it was also that feeling of I don't really think most of my peers were. I mean, we were both into toys, but you were not where I was. So there was that weird feeling of maybe I shouldn't still be collecting these, but I I still like them. (laughs) Right. And I I definitely felt that same way because it was like, like in school, it was like I would talk to you about like, I'd be like, oh, did you see this action figure at Walmart? But it's like, I'm not going to talk to other kids in class about that because, again, like I'm in sixth grade. I don't want to be like the weird kid and then still right. plays with toys. It's like, oh, Dakota, grow up. You should be right. like, doing whatever other sixth graders do. But it's like, that doesn't just stop in sixth grade. Like, you mm-hmm. s- still can feel that as an adult. Well, and it's also that feeling of, in some ways, I think society has shifted, especially in regards, of course, to superheroes. You know, I think mm-hmm. the MCU has done that big time mm-hmm. because we even remember, or I think we've talked about this, I would bring like individual comic books to school and read them. Yeah. And there was always that feeling at the start of high school that kind of was more like, like, that's weird. What are you doing? Mm-hmm. Right. But almost by the end of high school, everyone was wearing... Like mm-hmm. Spider Man, X Men, or you know, like Iron Man T-shirts or Thor, right. or everybody was stoked. And now I think most people, it's just mainstream to see. Mm-hmm. Like I think it's cool that a kid might have like a Black Panther backpack, and I'm like, wow, like that was kind of for me an obscure character. Mm-hmm. For and sure. I think in general, the fact that the general public is stoked about. Like Ant Man three, the movie. I, I was gonna say, yeah, like <laughs> characters like Ant Man and the Wasp. It's like you'd be like, oh yeah, this is like this is my Avengers shirt. They're like, oh, who's that character? It's like, oh, that's Ant Man. He can shrink. They're like, Ant-Man. that's stupid. What what's the point of that? It's like, but now like people are going to see the movies and like mm-hmm. you'd probably be hard pressed to find people that don't know who the Avengers are. Right. Where like so I, like you yeah. said, when we're in school, nobody would have been able to name two Avengers. Yeah. I, I think that's true. I mean, and you see it now where I think because people have seen those in movies, mm-hmm. like when we show our collections and they see a character from a movie, it's more a reaction of, oh, that's cool and that's mm-hmm. neat, which I, I think is is good. You know, I think obviously with any interest, if you go too far, you could be lost in it, but mm-hmm. it's like... I think it's it's cool that more people are into superhero stories and, in effect, superhero merchandise and, and figures. Yeah. And I just think it's 
it kind of opens the the community mm-hmm. to more people. Yeah. So I mean, even last night, like I just got my uh, figure obscura mythical legions Krampus, right. and I was like, I'm not gonna like I I, I want to open this up before Christmas, so. I just took it out to the living or yeah, the dining room table and opened it up and Savannah's parents are here. So like I was just open up my action figure with <laughs> the in-laws in town and yeah, they're like, they, they, they could even appreciate like, they're like, Oh wow. The art on this box is pretty cool. And like, Oh, yeah. he's got the, Oh, you can just pop his hands out to put the shackles on. And yeah, you know, like they don't have mm-hmm. any interest in ever collecting an action figure, but like, I think yeah. more so now, like not only them, but other people could appreciate the like, different aspects of like oh that's interesting like the detail that goes into that or like yeah well i showed my mom the the father christmas figure Mm -hmm. when that was coming out and she's like oh i could i could get into that that looks very cool you know it's like yeah cool (laughs) you know so i don't know i think part of it is just a a world view thing of Mm -hmm. i think did you watch ted lasso i have not yet it's on my list you gotta watch it but he, t- he talks about a quote. I think it's Ernest Hemingway. Or no, Walt Whitman. And he says to be be curious, not judgmental. And mm. to say, like, instead of just seeing, oh, someone thinks or does or is into something that I'm not, they must be weird or different Yeah. in a bad way, just be curious and say, oh, that. What what do you like about that? And then you maybe find things. It was kind of like even when we talked to, like, the 9 to 5 Warriors guy. Yeah. Like, that was really cool because we both had an interest in, like, storytelling and how mm-hmm. you get into that and don't lose that interest in stories and, and kind of imagination, which, I don't know. I think when you lose that, you lose a lot of uh, just your ability to find new things in life that are cool. So For sure. I, I think that would be my my statement on that is just kind of, and we even see that with new figure lines, just looking into like, Oh, that's interesting. Or right. What, what do you collect? Kind of a thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And like you said, it's not like just because somebody collects something different than you, like I would think most people have some sort of a collection of, like I said, whether it's action figures comic books regular like word books without the pictures that i don't understand as well but like whether you're collecting like weapons cars pennies different things like that it's like you're still you can like you said if you have that more like idea of curiosity and like wanting to understand what other people enjoy it's a lot I don't know, seems like a happier existence well, versus like I, trying to yeah. just judge people for being like, oh, how dare you collect that certain thing because right. it's the downfall of society. Right. And I think that bigger question, too, of people saying, oh, you know, you should leave the toys to the children. Mm-hmm. But really, I'm not even saying you need to have kids. You, this needs to be your motivation. But if you do someday want to have kids or have kids, collecting is something you can share with them and be like, because mm-hmm. if you just collect toys as a kid and then you don't think about toys for 30 years or 25 years, however long it is, and then you get into your kids collecting, like maybe, but there's a part of you that might be like, you don't really have anything of yours to share mm-hmm. with your kids. And you've talked about that a lot, just saying you have toys that when you have kids, you'd like to say, yeah. These are what I thought was cool. And, like, I wish I had more stuff from my dad that he was into as a kid. Because mm-hmm. I don't really know much on what he did for fun. I'm sure he I mean, did stuff for fun. Yeah, that's pretty much the main way I got into most, like, pop culture toy stuff. Is because, like, my uncle had a bunch of the old, like, three and three quarter uh, or whatever. They were, like, those, like, old Star Wars figures. He had all the old um, He-Man figures. He had all the old Thundercats. So, like, as a kid, I grew up playing with those. Yeah. And then got into my own, like, action figures, more like superhero Marvel and DC stuff. And then, like, once we were, like, okay, we're, like, done playing with toys for now. Like, I put them all in a box, and I was, like, I'm saving these until I have kids. Like, even as a right. sixth grader, I was, like, no, I'm not getting rid of these. Yeah. Like, 
somebody else is going to end up playing with these because these are fun and like mm-hmm. i would still take them out and like move them around because the toy biz joints get a little stuck and you don't want them to sit for 15 years you got to move them every year or two so then i just took them out one day what i don't know however old i was and was like yeah you know what i need some more of these yeah these are and cool then a podcast stems from it and it's like That's, you can find more joy than are. just sitting on the floor playing with your toys or posing them you can talk yeah. in the groups message boards talk to your friends or start a podcast right and, and really i mean if you think about it it's not like oh you're taking away enjoyment from kids because you're mm-hmm. kind of keeping this interest a alive for your own kids if you have them right. or b like you're driving toy sales so they keep mm-hmm. making toys because otherwise according to this report one fourth of toy sales would be gone if all adults just said you know what screw it we don't want to collect these anymore yeah. so and i'm sure that doesn't even reflect like all of the money adults are spending on toys right. because i doubt that includes all the secondhand like any facebook yeah. transaction is not going to be included in that i doubt eBay, like eBay is included in that yeah 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 i wonder even how that retail. number was calculated but I don't know, man. I just think it's it's always a bummer when people are, uh, you know, not not uh, open to mm-hmm. hearing what other people are interested in. So I just thought it'd be fun to kind of talk about, and this is kind of your idea of wanting to just talk about this a little bit and see what other people's experiences maybe have been with that yeah. too. What it's like to be an adult toy collector. Yes, indeed. So. Yeah, I, I, it is interesting, and I'd be curious to hear kind of from our listeners, like, what is, like, would you have opened up your brand new action figure on the dining room table with your in-laws, or is that, like, you try to keep your hobby a little bit more separate from life? Like, I mean, pretty much everybody in my family knows that I've got a action figure podcast, and I try to get them all to subscribe and listen, and some people, like my mom and sister, will listen to most episodes, and other people are just like, yeah, I got no interest in that, I'm not ever listening to an action figure podcast i couldn't make it through five minutes it's like and that's understandable because like i couldn't make it through five minutes of their tractor collecting tv shows so it's like you know find your find your niche and enjoy it you do you me do me (laughs) very true um so yeah (laughs) leave us a comment let us know what it's like for you like do you care what other people think at all do you care too much do you wish you cared less wish you cared more um yeah, let us know kind of your experiences. Be curious to hear it. Make sure you're liking, sharing. We'll respond to all the comments. And until next time, stay strong. <laughs>